It's serious stuff, actually, Frankie, mm -hmm. isn't it? I mean, in, in fact, this is a three-part series, isn't it? And yep. it's off the back of the success of a documentary you did on the same yeah. topic. There was a real hunger to see more of this because just so much of it goes on all of the time. Yeah, you know what? I was really surprised after the first one came out that so many people weren't aware that this goes on. People would stop me in the streets and say, oh, I'm so shocked that, you know, it goes that far. Um, and I just find it's a really important subject just because, you know, social media is massive now. Um, and I think, you know, it can be amazing, an amazing platform. It can be a really positive thing, but obviously some people use it in the wrong way. Absolutely. Well, explain exactly how this works then. As we, we saw there, there's a team of you, isn't there? Yeah. The investigators. So much hard work goes into it. They'll sit outside whoever's house they think it is or look where they work and actually it's quite scary how easy it is to figure out people's lives mm. um, and to follow them and say okay they go to work at this time and whatever um, and then we go and doorstep them basically we give send them a letter give them an opportunity to speak and if they say no then we just turn up basically what is it like when you finally figure out that this is the person that has been willing mm -hmm. to pick their phone up and write something nasty to someone it's, is it sometimes it's, underwhelming? Yeah, well, some of them, I mean, with the first one and with quite a few in this series, um, a lot of them just run away and they don't want to speak. But in itself, I feel like that's saying a lot because it just shows that they're cowards. When you get them face to face, when they're not behind a computer, they've got nothing to say. Yeah, well, there's an anonymity, um, isn't yeah. there? You can tap away yeah. and no one knows who and you are. And I think are. that's reassuring for the person, you know, because sometimes people are really, you know, saying really aggressive things and you might think that they're going to come and do that but then when you see them you realize they're just scared and they're mm. not going to do anything um but some we did get to talk to some were up for talking and um some weren't very apologetic and i think a lot of them feel like you're fair game if you're on tv or even with people that aren't on tv i think just if you're online then if you don't like it then get off mm. um which is a i don't really what i find weird and what I found interesting doing the show is that I want to know why people do it. It's not about naming and shaming. It's I don't understand that mentality of we all have an opinion. I could sit here and say, oh, don't really like your skirt today mm -hmm. to one of my mates. But I wouldn't go out of my way to then make sure that you know that I didn't think you looked good yeah, today. Exactly. You know, that's just a small example of it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we saw Rebecca Adlington there and Sam Bailey and various mm -hmm. others who were really, really affected by some of this trolling, weren't they? And they're, yeah. they're quite honest about how, how it affected them. Yeah, a lot of them got, get really emotional. Um, Sam Bailey in particular, it's really affected her life and her children. Um, and I think once it crosses that line, that's really scary. Um, Rebecca Adlington was really interesting for me because she's someone that's achieved so much, but yet she now feels like everything, all the names and all, everything that gets written about her or said about her kind of overshadows that, mm. which I think is a real shame. Um, but also I met people that aren't in the public eye. Um, and again, I think I find that more shocking because I just think, why? You know, it's, you know, when I went to school, I didn't, when I went home from school, if I'd fallen out with someone, I'd be friends with them by Monday when I go back. Now it carries on when you get home. Yeah, it's a different form of bullying yeah. in, in lots of respects, yeah. isn't it? Can you see it ever changing, Frankie, for the best? Um, I think it's a really hard thing to control. You know, I'm not sitting here saying the police need to do more, everyone needs to do more, because I think they do, but I think it's hard to find a way. You know, the internet's such a big thing. How can they keep on top of it all? Mm. Um, and maybe it's down to us monitoring it. I don't know. I think it's really hard.